So we want to play some sound when a current timer is transitioned to the next one or when the whole timer cycle is ended. To achieve this, we can use the audio API provided by the browser out of the box. I have previously found this two sound effect to use in our app. You can find some other sound effect that suits your taste. I promise I will not judge you. Anyway, here are the sound that we're gonna use in our example here. So first of all, this sound will play when the timer is transitioned to the next timer. On the other hand, this will play when the all done message is showing in the app. To get started with the audio API, we first need to load our mp3 file into our start page. And just like loading CSS file, Vid can also handle mp3 file by using the ES6 import statement. This is the recommended way to load static assets in our app project. We can just let Vid to do all the hard work for us. Anyway, once we have imported the mp3 files, we can create a new audio instance by instantiating the audio class. The audio constructor will simply take in the path to our mp3 file, which is basically our import. So now once we got our audio instance, we will play our transition notification whenever our timer is finished. However, if we have reached the end and we're not in the infinite mode, we want to play the alarm instead. So we'll pause the transition notification and call the play function on the alarm instance. When the user stops the timer manually, we should also call the pause function on both the alarm and transition notification. Okay, let's test our code now. We'll go to the browser. I don't think my screen recorder can record the sound, so you gotta trust me on this one. We'll click on the start button. When the timer expires, ooh, I can hear the sound now. And if you look at the browser tab, you can see a little circle just beside the title, and that is the evidence. All right, that concludes our timer app for this series. I hope you enjoyed everything so far. We will be talking about some advanced React concept and JavaScript in part two of this React deep dive series, which will be built on top of this timer app. All right, have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. If you would like to see more content, consider supporting us by becoming a member at my website, acadia.io. It is similar to Patreon, but in return, you get a lot of premium tutorials and lessons. If you can't become a member, that's totally fine. We are just happy that you are here. We spend a lot of time and energy to produce high quality videos for you. Feel free to check out our other videos on YouTube and if you can leave a thumbs up, you will really make my day. If you subscribe, I would jump for joy and I'll make more videos for you. Thanks for your support and I'll see you next time.